Hello, and welcome back to another episode of GTV, I'm Chris. And I'm Casey. Hey Chris, did you hear we may be able to go back to school? Yeah, a small cohort of students started on October 26th. It will be interesting to see how that goes. I don't envy them wearing masks and staying six feet away from others every day. More exciting school news. The drama department has a new play. Yeah, I think it's really cool that they found a way to do a virtual production so that we don't miss out on all these talented actors during this crazy time. They always do such a great job. Wow, I'm really gonna have to see this one. The suspense is killing me. Now to get us into the Halloween spirit, JTV students have created some spooky cybersecurity horror story podcasts. JTV students worked hard to use only audio to get you in the Halloween mode. Let's listen to the first one. It's 11 p.m. You're working on an essay when an ad pops up for a new game. You try to clear it, but another ad pops up and causes you to download it. Then your laptop shuts down. You get up to charge it because you think it just died. But when your laptop turns on, you notice it takes you to the setup display when you first bought it. In the back of your mind, you hope it's not a problem and that if you restart your laptop, it will go away but it doesn't. Your essay is gone. You begin to panic because you only have an hour left. There's no way you can do it again in time. So you try to restore it. Luckily, you've saved your progress on your OneDrive. When you go to log in, it asks for a password. The problem is, you never set one up. You get your phone and see if you can get it back from there, but no luck. You freak out and go to text a classmate for help, but find that your Instagram has been hacked. In your messages, you see texts that you never sent. You go look and see links were sent to your friends. You realize you have been hacked and that the hacker is trying to do the same to your friends. You call your friends to warn them not to click the link. Luckily, most of them respond within five minutes and give you a thanks for the warning. 
cybersecurity is a real and present danger we face every day. Stay safe, or you could end up in your own cybersecurity horror story. Man, you gotta hate those pop-up ads. You're just playing Best Fiends in peace and boom, you get a pop-up ad from a hacker. That made the hacker sound spooky. Let's listen to another Cyber Halloween podcast. Blue Keep vulnerability lurks in the shadows. In May, Microsoft alerted Windows users to the Blue Keep vulnerability, CVE-2019-0708. Which, if exploited, would allow a remote attacker to take over a victim's computer and execute code. The main thing that sets Bluekeep apart from other bugs is that it's warmable, which means that it can self-propagate from machine to machine, setting up the scene for a fast-moving global pandemic infection wave. The concern was big enough that Microsoft even took the unusual step of deploying patches to Windows XP and Windows 2003, which are end of life and no longer supported by the computing giant. And the National Security Agency issued a dire warning. It is only a matter of time before remote exploitation code is widely available for this vulnerability. NSA is concerned that malicious cyber actors will use this vulnerability in ransomware and exploit kits containing their known exploits, increasing capabilities against other unpatched systems. There are still hundreds of thousands of unpatched machines in the US and working proof of concept exploits have been created, including one showing an unauthenticated attacker can achieve full run of a victim machine in about 22 seconds. Wow, I really like the way they reported it. Next, we have a podcast about ransomware. It was a pitch black and eerie night. And the big green monster was home alone. Like a good monster, he was aware of the risk of cybercrime. He, on a regular, backed up his data, updated his computer, and purchase antivirus software. But oddly enough, he received a message from Apple stating his worst nightmare. He'd been attacked with a ransomware. A notification popped up and suggested him to call tech support. As he called the number, his heart was racing, pounding, I say, in his chest. Finally, someone answered, and he described the tragedy that had just occurred. The man on the other end relieved his fears as he was there to help. He helps the monster by setting up new anti-ransomware software for the price of $400. At first, he thought the price was absurd, but money was nothing close to his data. Hesitant, he paid the fee and gave him remote access to his computer. After a little time passes, he thanks the monster and assures that his computer is ransomware free. A week later, after the monster had nearly forgotten the incident, while drinking his morning coffee, the monster turned on the news and saw a story about a local scam. His jaw dropped in horror. The monster was shaking. He then realized that he was never hit with ransomware. The man he talked to wasn't from Apple. The whole $400 has gone to waste. And in fact, he was tricked, deceived, and now they had remote access to everything. The criminal 
Dr. Frankenstein has lured him in again. Ugh, ransomware frauds, the worst. That is so much money and data. Just wait until you hear the next podcast. The Grim Lesson Hacker. Let me tell you of a story of a spring delivery turned into a spring nightmare. A man was setting the course of the drone to go. And as he watched the drone fly up into the air and out of sight, the alarm went off on all the computers in the room. The man looked at his computer and saw the drone was heading towards the office. As quickly as he saw it, a shadowy figure appeared, a hacker. The hacker giggled with glee of the sight of terror. Don't worry, the hacker said. I am just sending you guys a delivery. The hacker laughs one more time as the drones come crashing through the windows. Take this as a lesson. Even technology has vulnerability and needs to be secured. That's unfortunate. I hate it when your own drone attacks you. For real. And it's the ones you love most. Stay safe out there, everyone. Our last story is called Halloween Cybersecurity Story. It will get your heart racing. Let's listen. You wake up abruptly, jolted by the unforeseen echoing sounds of a notification on your phone. Your tired eyes are struck with a blazing glow. An email? Who would email you at this hour? You rapidly enter the passcode of your phone, persevering through all the hurdles to get you to this moment. Your eyes are captivated with a swift email that reads, Love letter for you. Your desperate soul ignites as you pound on your screen with a suspense, hoping to open an email confessing fondness. But alas, you are overtaken by this phantom crawler that lurks through the night searching for a lonely victim to bestow its fraudulent love upon. Oh, what a devilish insect that preys on your romantic desires. This vermin commandeers your JPEGs and your MP3s. Ah, uh, but even worse! This sham love bug forwards itself to your friends. Though you have a paucity of friends, you shriek at this hornet's nest for you are aware they are just as forlorn as you. Off to your friends this insect goes as you are left feeling used. Your wholesome pursuit for love is annihilated along with your confidence. Oh, what a horrific insect that steals your secrets and uses them against you. Cuts like a knife since the flea could not even remain exclusive. Your heart is broken. Your information is stolen. Now, I may be a tad biased, but that script was amazing. Mwah. Wow, that scream gave me the chills. Thanks for joining us for another episode of GTV. Have a fun Halloween and stay safe out there. Bye, everyone.